Coming up on today's show, SGA reveals this year's prom theme, and we take a look at some basketball highlights. Stay tuned, you're watching Roar TV. Good morning, Ovita. I'm Kylie McFarland. And I'm Tyler Wample. Today is Tuesday, February 4th, 2020. Let's get the show started. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, grad bash tickets are available before or after school in Ms. Coomer's room, 1-207. Tickets are now $100. Attention seniors, Decision Day at Seminole State College will be held on February 14th. Spend the day with your friends and learn everything you need to know about Seminole State. Transportation and lunch will be provided. You'll even have the chance to win some great prizes. Permission slips are due to Mrs. Washington in the guidance office by Wednesday, February 6th. Sign up to attend at seminolestate.edu slash decision day. Italian Club will be selling delicious chocolate cake pops for $1 until February 7th. Cake pops will be delivered on Valentine's Day to third period classes. See an Italian Club member or Ms. Vitale in room 13-017 to buy one. There will be a brief Bioscience Club meeting on Thursday, February 6th, right after school in Mrs. Demon's room, room 12004. We will discuss our trip to the Jackson Mil Jacksonville Museum of Science and History. See you Thursday. Junior and senior athletes interested in the National Athletic Honor Society, please turn in applications by today to Coach Waters' room. Please stop by his room, 8-202, today if you have any questions, and be reminded that a 3.5 unweighted GPA is required. Calling all athletes, Oviedo's water polo team challenges everyone and anyone to a water polo match. Water polo versus the world is on February 7th at 6.30 p.m. at the Oviedo Aquatic Center. Any Oviedo athlete can play. See Coach Mason in room 813 for details. Are you up to the challenge? A couple of weeks ago, boys basketball went up against Winter Springs. Riley Finnegan and photographer Noah Berman show us some highlights from the game. On January 22nd, your Oviedo Lions boys basketball team took on the Winter Springs Bears. The tip-off was won by the Lions, but the two traded defense until Jacob Rose sunk his second three of the game, putting the Lions up 6-2. to Another three by Mamouche Galloway put the Lions up by three more. At the start of the second period, Jacob Rose sunk another three and a free point ended the first half with the Lions up 29-20. The Lions dominated the third period, scoring 16 versus the Bears five, and that streak started with this three by Matt Strickland. And when a Bears player missed the ball, the Lions were able to capitalize with another three by Jacob Rose. The final Oviedo score of the game was a three by Caleb Barr, and your Lions took the victory, 57 to 39. With O-Town Sports, I'm Riley Finnegan. Hey Lions, I'm with Kylie Thielen, a member of the girls' varsity soccer team. Kylie, how are you feeling going into the semifinals tonight? I'm feeling pretty prepared and ready to play. 
How have you and the team been preparing? We've been working on set plays, including court and kicks, and throw-ins to work, um, capitalize on those going to goal. What are some of your goals for tonight's game and future games? Tonight, we just I'm hoping we just play our best and then keep moving forward to win districts and keep winning game by game. You heard it here. Come to see the girls' varsity soccer team play in the district semifinals at 7.30 at home versus Winter Park. From O-Town Sports, this is Delaney Warner. Hello Betas, I'm Caroline. And I'm Anila, and this is your Beta Bus update. Last night we held our second Relay for Life fundraiser at Mad Hatter's Pizza in Oviedo. We had a lot of fun and appreciate all the families who came up to dine in or pick up to help in this worthwhile endeavor. Beginning today, we'll be selling candy grams in the commons during both lunches. The cost will be $1 per bag for a nice sized bag of chocolates or $10 for a beautiful stuffed puppy or bear along with a bag of candy. This is always a popular Valentine's treat. Treat a friend, that special someone, your favorite teachers and administrators, or even yourself. We will be delivering during second and third periods on Friday, February 14th. So make sure you know what classes your special someone has during those class periods so we can make successful deliveries. Fall runners are needed for the girls varsity district tournament this week. Ms. Shea has posted the dates and times when runners are needed. Be sure to check this out today on eCampus if you are interested in helping. Information for the Ronald McDonald Share a Heart Cookie Campaign are located on the beta bulletin boards. If you would like to bake three dozen cookies and decorate them for Valentine's Day, you will earn two points. There are guidelines and directions and expectations, so be sure to get the information from the link on eCampus or look for them on the bulletin boards. Betas, there will not be a monthly meeting this uh, month, so there are plenty of point opportunities that are going to be uh, going on and Mache is going to post them on eCampus. So make sure you're checking frequently as things tend to pop up during this year. Some of the current and upcoming events include volunteering for the annual Walt Walk to be held here at OHS on February 29th, volunteers for the Blake Bortle Foundation Football Day Camp in March, the Children's Village at the annual Winter Park Sidewalk Art Festival, and a Spring Flea Market at Lutheran Haven. Be sure to sign up for this year's Beta Club Relay for Life team. Begin raising your money now. Our goal this year is $8,000. You will earn one point for every $10 you raise. This is the easiest way to earn points for this semester. More information will follow regarding this year's Week of Hope. Well, that's it for now, Betas. Have, Have a beta -tastic day. Have a wonderful Tuesday, Ovita. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And as always, Go, go Lions! Lions.